In Delta, the state government is reviewing its curriculum for primary and junior secondary schools eight years after the last review to ensure that the teaching of students doesn't fall short of the required standard and for teachers to adequately accommodate the new realities of service delivery. The government put together a 10-day workshop for teachers, headmasters and principals on curriculum revision and development of schemes of work for primary and junior secondary schools in Delta State. Ikena Amechi has details. 2012 was the last time the Delta State Government reviewed its curriculum for primary and secondary schools, and a lot has changed since then. With the COVID-19 pandemic and digital learning becoming front and center in education. Well, the impact is that uh, it has not told us uh, the, the urgent need for us to go digital in our education teaching. And that is exactly what Delta is doing. Now we're doing the teleclass on radio and television. We are not going to go to go online and offline. Education is very dynamic. There's need for constant review of your curriculum. And the curriculum leads and gives you a better platform to prepare your scheme of work. And that is how you teach the children. For the next few days, these headmasters, headmistresses, principals and teachers from across the state will be looking at how best to direct the learning process. Professor Pai Obanya, a renowned scholar, leading the team. Uh, I'm not impacting anything. We are going to work. There will be no lectures. Hmm? We are going to work and in the process, people follow the process of getting things done. Is that process that you transfer. COVID marks a change in the way life goes on. Uh, and so there is always, there's always been COVID, only they are called by different names. Anything that comes that change the way you think, the way you started using the cell phone, you were COVID in. That, well, that's what curriculum or education does. It prepares you to cope with living. And when certain challenges come, you will go on with them. If there are no curriculum, there's a tendency for schools to teach haphazardly. That is, teach topics and scheme of work in a haphazard manner. But with a unified curriculum, you find out that there's the, there's the process of standardization. It's going, to, in fact, it's going to be a big task on the head of the school because first of all, we have to um, uh, sensitize the teachers to know that they are going to do more work than usual. At the end of this workshop, a better workable and all-inclusive pattern of learning will be adopted for all the 2,965 primary and 1,503 junior secondary schools in the state to improve the quality of education. Iken Amechi, TVC News, Asaba.